Building in the ruins of their home. These workers are helping people who lost just about everything in the floods last December. They're the lucky ones because they own the land they're building on. Many others don't. Azri bin Laden is a day labourer. His rented house was inundated. It's unsafe to live in now. Everything they owned was either ruined or floated away. I'm worried because I don't have a house. My wife is pregnant and due in September. We want to be settled quickly, but we don't see any hope. There are dozens of tented villages like this across the state of Kelantan. People have salvaged what they can. Aid agencies are dealing with people displaced from entire villages like this one, ghost villages. Homes washed away by the force of the flood water, swept off their stilts. All that's left are the steps to a house. Our main concern right now is shelter and the holy month of Ramadan is approaching. So we hope to uh, move uh, all the uh, communities to uh, temporary shelters by then. These temporary shelters house people waiting for their own homes. Safe and secure, communities are kept together. The government has pledged to rehouse those that were displaced in homes like this, but the fate of many more is still not confirmed. Many can't rebuild because it occupied government land illegally and will have to be relocated. It's estimated that as many as 160,000 people need safe, secure accommodation that can withstand the elements. But the process may take a year or even more. We were made to understand that the problem is in terms of implementation, but we do not know. The real, the real issue, because we leave it to the federal government to sort it out. We are focusing only on our side. While state and central governments decide what their responsibilities are, it's left to charities to build permanent homes like this. It's a slow process identifying land that is safe and legal to build on. Badly damaged infrastructure is being repaired and life is slowly getting back to normal. Many hope that the work can be completed within six months before the next monsoon. Sahil Rahman, Al Jazeera, Kuala Krai, Kelantan in northeast Malaysia.